Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, what I will do is I will uh, have you know the admin profile, how to prepare the profile, I mean resume for your uh, administrator role. If you are trying a job for Splunk admin position, uh, what all the key things to be added in your profile and what are the you know skills, uh, main important skills to be added in your profile. So altogether, how to prepare the resume for Splunk admin role. Uh, in this video we will uh, talk about that uh, in detail okay so before i uh, before i talk about it uh, resume preparation is uh, very very important right so because uh, uh, many of the recruiters what they do is they will just uh, you know look at your resume and they will uh, take the interview because whatever you mentioned in the profile in the resume is really important because they will just follow your resume and ask the questions accordingly so make sure Please mention uh, your. You, please mention the, the you know points whichever you are aware of it, whichever you are perfect in that. Only mention those points in your profile. Not uh, uh, if you are uh, not sure of anything about. Please do not mention it because your profile is everything for the recruiter, for the interviewer who is evaluating you. For him or her, your profile is everything. All right. So please have your profile perfect perfectly prepared and uh, you know so that you will have a great opportunity good chances to get selected in the interview all right so before i start like if you if you do not have any format of the profile maybe you can just go to any of the uh, you know uh, just just browse uh, in google saying that i mean uh, any profile sample profile you'll get a lot of uh, sample profiles uh, in uh, you know uh, in Google you can download any of them and you can prepare uh, the uh, document based um, accordingly okay it's just an example I'm just telling you can get a lot of uh, uh, different formats uh, as per your requirement you can download from the internet and you can have it prepared in case if you already have a word document which is uh, uh, prepared with your for your resume you can also edit that only that you have to mention a couple of uh, additional points to that uh, word document which you already have right now how this Splunk admin uh, uh, profile uh, I mean the, the resume should be uh, looking like all right so there you go I've just prepared a, a sample one for you okay so just to show you what all the key points that you have to uh, mention in Splunk uh, admin role okay so, so this is the typical format of the resume maybe you will have your uh, name simply mentioned in the in the uh, beginning of the profile and then the phone number and also you have your email address mentioned and then this is where your profile uh, you know introduction starts all right so this initially talks about your total years of experience okay now this total years of experience is something uh, let's say you are you are uh, already working in non it or you are you know uh, now you are trying to get into it so that means you have to mention your overall experience which includes your non it experience also okay so this is what total years experience is all about in or uh, you are passed out in somewhere around 13 or 14 any time so you are working in sales background you are now trying to you know get into it you have to mention your all over experience uh, you know, and then you can have your splunk uh, relevant experience mentioned accordingly it is all depends on your education depends on your experience and depends on the uh, you know the profile that you have so far in your career okay so it depends on a lot of factors so basically this it should be like this okay you should go with your total years of experience uh, provisioned experience in the splunk admin and development of Splunk architecture, including the components such as indexer, search head, forwarder, deployment server. Okay, so these things, and then experience in the Windows and Linux configurations, you know, uh, customizations, technical support, and also the um, the management of uh, you know experience in uh, Splunk uh, deployment activities, etc. All right, so this is uh, uh, you know brief about your profile, and then this is where you actually getting into your uh, roles and responsibilities. What are the roles you are, uh, you know, doing in the current project? Like uh, for an admin, you know, you can start with uh, hands-on experience on the installation of Splunk components, forwarder, indexer, master, and then the cluster masters, and the uh, you know, search head. Also experience in the universal forwarder deployment server and the uh, Splunk indexer clustering. And uh, uh, next thing you can say, uh, knowledge in maintaining high availability of Splunk enterprise uh, inner services. Uh, troubleshooting Splunk etc right and then so so on it should it should go like this okay so uh, it is like monitoring the Splunk infrastructure of the 
know, um, capacity planning and optimization and troubleshooting also the roles uh, to create the apps and so on. Okay, I, I don't want to talk about every point here. I'm just trying to highlight whichever is uh, very important. Okay, you can just follow this uh, 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 format and prepare your resume accordingly. Okay. So you can say good knowledge in Splunk, uh, you know, search processing language that is SPL, and then experience in managing, uh, customizing Splunk dashboards, etc. Okay, so this sort of uh, stuff you can you know, mention in your uh, profile, and then this is where your actual summary starts. Okay, uh, summary uh, skills experience. This is where you are currently working projects, whatever the responsibilities that you are handling, you will be mentioning all of them here. Okay, this is basically your current project current work that you're doing you'll be mentioning here okay here also since it is the splunk, same splunk admin profile you'll have uh, uh, installed splunk search at clusters index clustering forwarders and the integrations and also um, you know troubleshooting experience in the data onboarding involved in creation of dashboards everything it goes like this okay so sometimes you have uh, experience if you are working on a tickets uh, you know uh, itil process right you, service now or zira you can also mention that you can also mentioned that and the troubleshooting and knowledge on the configuration files everything okay so this is basically your current project all right and then uh one more point that i want to that i want to highlight here is that in case if you wanted to mention your current project name that is uh, let's say if it is a bank banking project or any utilities domain project or uh, anything uh, you know or telecom domain project you can mention the project name that this uh, you, you're always welcome to do that okay you just have your project name mentioned and then uh, you know give the same uh, roles and responsibilities admin roles and responsibilities are mainly these are the uh, you know things you need to mention for admin just just that you just mention your project name and the duration whatever you are working you can have that here i have not mentioned because i don't want to mention the project's name uh, and everything even if you do not have it that will do but if you have the project name that will give good uh, you know uh, exposure good idea to the uh, interviewer or a recruiter whoever is taking your profile right he will get the idea okay this uh, so and so person is working in this project okay so his his responsibilities are this so he'll get the idea so it is always suggested to use uh, to mention the uh, current project name in the profile as well all right so same again uh, you can mention your uh, additional responsibilities if you have anything and you know uh, in case uh, if you have any uh, in your entire experience if you have worked on any other uh, formalities i mean any any other technologies also you can mention them as well all right so majorly th those are the uh, uh, you know splunk uh, admin roles and responsibilities okay this is all again depends on your uh, profile all right now i just want to talk about the uh, personal background okay uh, sorry professional background in the sense your current company that you are working let's say if you are working in one company just mention the name of the company and the period that you are working and uh, in case you are working in two three companies you just mention the name of those companies along with your role and mention the period that you have worked okay that is how a professional background should be and then uh, technical credentials very very important because a couple of projects uh, uh, what they do is they recruit you for a Splunk admin role but they do I mean they also have the work to work I mean to do uh, on the other activities like AWS maybe or uh, Linux or uh, additional responsibilities in, within the Splunk so it is always uh, you know mm, uh, suggested to mention your additional response additional tools if you are aware any servers any particular operating systems these are definitely you know add the value to your profile okay so let's have uh, uh, technical exposure also mentioned in your profile if you have anything uh, additionally you please mention that as well and the education education background is nothing but you mention your graduation engineering or a graduation or a post graduation you just mention the university name and the uh, pass out year you don't have to mention the percentage and everything because this is going to be a, a experience profile okay so uh, this profile is basically only for the experienced professionals not for the freshers okay so for freshers how to prepare how to prepare the profile what are the uh, you know tips to be followed and everything i'll be sharing in my future videos for freshers but this is uh, for the experienced professionals okay so please have your uh, 
uh, education also mentioned here and then personal details you can just mention your name and the place of birth where you uh, originally from and you if you want you can just mention your uh, date of birth you don't have to go to your hobbies your uh, you know other stuff and all that so let's make it simple uh, you know these things it is always suggested to make it simple because uh, uh, it is always uh, you know uh, uh, helpful to the interviewer also uh, to pick, pick the things fast and you know close the interview as soon as possible so let's have uh, this kind of profile uh, you know which will be a very simple and uh, uh, majorly it should be talking about your roles and responsibilities uh, of a splunk admin okay so first uh, two three um, what do you call this thing uh, technical exposure and the current project whatever is working so that these two are really really important and rest all the things are basically depending on your experience that you have all right so uh, that's all I have uh, uh, in this video. I just, uh, you know, I thought of uh, sharing this for a Splunk admin profile because I've been getting a lot of requests from my friends, you know, to explain how do we prepare resume for a Splunk admin role and all that. So I hope this will help you. In my future video, I will be coming up with a lot of uh, videos on, you know, uh, interviews preparation and uh, uh, resume preparation on the different uh, roles of Splunk and everything if you have anything to ask me please let me know in the uh, uh, comments box i will i'll be happy to answer your questions thank you for watching i will see you in the next video